Firstly, I'm painting groups of three dots randomly on paper, and each group of three dots will become a flower. The brush I'm using is a nylon brush, although a nylon brush may have its limitations in certain paintings and may not be recommended. Feel free to use one in today's painting. This is easier for beginners to control compared to animal bristles. We start by loading some water and paint onto the brush. I'm going to place the brush down slightly beyond the dot and then move it towards the dot, which can easily create a petal shape like this. Next, we take a clean brush, dip it in water, and then dab it on a napkin to remove excess moisture so that it's just slightly damp to the touch. Then repeat the same process. Now I'm brushing from the tip of the petal inwards towards the dot, adjust the shape of the flowers as we go. Next, I'm using a dry brush to do this step again, lifting some color from the edges of the petals. And as we can see, this will create some transparency, leaving us with a nice blotchy result when it dries. Since we have lifted some color and moisture from the petals already, there's no need to wait for it to dry, and then we can move on to the next step. Next step is adding the flower center. I'm going to dab it on the center of the flowers, and the paint will spread a little by itself. Now we can paint some decorative dots on the background. I'm using the same blue color and a little of the remaining glitter color. Now I'm using glitter color to highlight the centers. This will be perfect to enhance the dark toned blue color. <laughs> 